Hello there, friends. It's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com. And thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Today, I have a new yarn to share with you, and I'll be sharing my review with you today. And we will be looking at the new Yarnspirations yarn, Karen Cotton Funnel Cakes. During the review, I'll be talking about the differences between the Karen Funnel Cakes and the regular Karen Cotton Cakes. I'll be talking about where you can get this yarn if you've uh, got a mind to purchase some for yourself. And we'll talk, we'll talk about how this yarn works up because it does have a very different uh, texture to its strand. And so we're going to talk about that and I'm going to show you how it works up in a crochet swatch. So if you're ready to get started, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. So as you can see, I've got two different colors of the Karen Cotton Funnel Cakes. The colors I have here are Cumulus and Fog. And they are currently only available exclusively at Michael's stores. Uh, the Michaels website shows that there are 18 colorways available, nine of which are solid colors and nine of which are variegated. And when I found this yarn at Michaels, I had actually gone in looking for the regular Karen cotton cakes and was disappointed to find that unfortunately the regular cotton cakes appear to only be available in variegated colorways this year. So when I saw that they had the uh, funnel cakes in these beautiful matte colors, I decided to give them a try um, instead of just leaving the store empty handed uh, since I really wanted a solid colored cotton yarn for summer. When I initially saw these yarns, the first thing that caught my eye was the texture of the yarn. And I'm going to kind of put this aside here and pull some of the strand out. So I'm hoping that I can illustrate it clearly for you on the camera. So as you can see, it kind of looks twisted or almost knobbly, and that's what creates this highly textured surface on your yarn here. And this is what's called a wrap spun cotton. Now, this is very similar to a roving style yarn because what it, it is, it is actually a roving yarn that has a uh, string or thread wrapped around it to create that texture. So instead of a normal uh, strand that's got mul your multiple strands of thread or yarn in it and it's plied and twisted together, this is just a uh, roving strand of cotton that's got that thread wrapped around it and it lends that really fun texture. So let's take a look at the label. Uh, as we are seeing more and more at Michael's, we're, we've got a limited time only. So if you're wanting to grab one, I would recommend going and doing that soon. The retail price here in Canada is $14.99 uh, plus tax for one of these. And that is a few dollars more than the regular Karen cotton cakes. Now, this is a 250 gram ball, which is 8.8 ounces. And in one of these cakes, you're going to get 425 yard, yards, goodness, not yarns. And, and uh, that's 389 meters. Now, besides just the difference between this and the regular Karen cakes being that, that visual appearance in the different strand is that this cake uh, actually has less yardage than a regular Karen cotton cake. This has 425 yards where the regular Karen cotton cakes has a well over 500. If I recall, it's like 525 or 527, something like that, but it's well over 500 yards. Uh, this is a size four medium worsted weight yarn. It's machine washable and dryable. And the recommended hook size is five millimeters or H hook. And in a four inch swatch, you can expect to get 14 single crochets and 16 rows. For you knitters, they recommend a four and a half millimeter or US seven set of needles. And you can expect to get 18 stitches and 24 rows in a four by four inch swatch. So besides the yardage, and again, that visual texture, um, is there's also like that price difference, right? The Karen cotton cakes uh, right now are $11.99, and these ones are $14.99. Now, we're, I want to talk to you about the swatch, because I was really pleasantly surprised about how it worked up. Now, um, I will say that this yarn is very soft. It's delightful. I was actually really surprised because sometimes with a cotton, it can be, although it can be soft, but sometimes you still feel that little bit of scratchiness in the cotton. 
I didn't feel that at all with this. It's actually quite pleasant. And um, if you were planning on using it for something next to skin, I can um, absolutely see that, that there would be no issues with that unless you're very, very sensitive. So the swatch here was done with a five and a half millimeter hook. The recommended hook size is a five, but I do always tend to go up a hook size or two because while I'm experimenting, because I know that I tend to be a bit of a tighter crochet. With a five and a half millimeter hook, which is only half a hook size up, I was able to create a fabric that actually has, you know, a decent amount of drape. And um, it does have, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I'm hoping you can if I move it around. But um, you can see that there's quite a few gaps in the fabric. So if you're wanting to use this for like a tote bag or something, and you're really wanting that solid fabric, you're going to need to go down a hook size possibly um, from that recommended five, because even at a five and a half, you can absolutely see through this fabric. Now, the swatch as I normally do is done starting with single crochets, working into half double crochets, and finishing off with double crochet stitches. There was zero issues, or I should say there were zero issues in working the swatch with this yarn. No splitting, no knots or anything um, unpleasant. It was just smooth sailing all the way through. Now I was very surprised at how it worked up because I really thought that this, the textured strand would kind of give me something a little more funky than what I've got. Instead, I've got this really nice pronounced stitch definition and it's almost got like a bit of a rustic look to it, but it's not really overly textured. And I really like what the um, stitch definition in this and it's just really pleasant. I really, really enjoyed it. So these are just a few things that I think that you should keep in mind before committing to this yarn for your project. And um, the first thing is, is that the yarn is quite heavy. When it's worked up, um, cotton can be heavy and typically a 100% cotton um, can lose its shape over time, if especially if the garment is uh, or the piece is quite heavy. So just keep that in mind. And when you're doing a swatch, I suggest doing a hung gauge to um, see what the effect of the, that weight has on your fabric overall. Two, because this is a roving style yarn, it is prone to pilling. Because um, you with any roving yarn, I would expect just that little bit of friction here creates a halo. And the more halo present in your yarn, the more prone it will be to pilling. So if that is a problem for you, it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I haven't seen too, too much of it, but um, I would be really disappointed if I were to say, use this for a garment and not test it and uh, end up with a whole bunch of pills under my underarm from the friction. And last but not least, the stitch definition is absolutely lovely. However, it might change the look of your intended project. So if you're planning on using this for a um, crochet pattern, I recommend taking a moment to swatch your, swatch your stitch pattern for your design in this yarn and make sure that you still like the way it look, it works because not all yarns are created diff this, the same. And if you were to say, use this yarn and work it up and, you know, you don't like the way this yarn looks and say that really lacy stitch pattern, you know, I would hate for you to be disappointed. So it's always worth, worth the time to make a quick gauge swatch to make sure that you're saving yourself time and money down the road. So um, that's my experience with this. I, I really liked this yarn. I'm going to use my two cakes probably to make a bag for the summer. And um, although the Karen cotton cakes are my preferred yarn, just because if I was under a budget, I'd want to get that one because you get do get more yardage. Um, this is a great alternative in my opinion. So if you have used this yarn and you would like to share your experience with our community, I would really appreciate that because all the people in our community can learn from your experience if you share it below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylamb.com. Thanks so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.